Hello and thanks for tuning in to me and my golf. We're your coaches, Piers and Andy, and it's time for the Impact Show. Now we're at Carnoustie. We've been doing some filming for the Open, so Open Week. Make sure you check out all the videos that we have been doing. Now, Andy, what are we doing here, though? Well, we're actually not on the golf course today. We're going into the Indoor Performance Centre, state-of-the-art centre, to bring you three training aids to improve your irons. Let's go take a look. So as you can see, a fantastic performance center. They've got seven hitting bays in here, six warm-up bays, and the teaching bay here, which is nice, Pierce. Pretty cool, isn't it? Pretty warm for Scotland as well, so you can <laughs> hit balls indoor and you're sheltered from the weather. Now, Pierce, training aids today. Yes. Uh, three training aids that are gonna help guys hit better iron shots. Now, this is something people ask a lot. You know, what training aids can I use that's gonna improve my game? And we're gonna pick three of our favorite clubs, mm -hmm. or th sorry, three of our favorite training aids that really make a big difference. And we're gonna kick off with Something you got around your neck, please. Should I pull that a bit tighter? <laughs> it's my gold medal. No, it's a smart ball from our friend Martin Chuck at uh, Tor Striker. So, hey, look, let's just put this over here for the moment. Hopefully, it doesn't go over my mic. But, you know, how often with golfers do we work at arm position on the backswing, into transition, through the golf ball, at impact? You know, see a lot of separation between those arms. And when our arms separate, they don't really work in sequence that we would like with our body. So by getting this, where is it, round here, and just putting it in between the arms like so, suddenly you can see I'm able to keep the right arm a little bit more folded on the backswing. On the downswing, I can keep the elbows closer and then impact and through, definitely keeping those elbows closer. And it is really good for sequencing our arms with our body, but getting that rotation element the arms need to work with the body. Yeah, so just show us a poor impact position again, Pierce, there. With this in place? Uh, without, without it in place. And the key thing with this is always, when we're looking at a training aid, what's it gonna help? Is it gonna help the ball flight? Is it gonna help the strike? Now, what we tend to see when these buckle is we see a lot of loft produced through impact, maybe even some heavy shots and some weak shots as well. So with the smart ball there, it really does help, you know, sink the arms together, improve the loft on the club through impact. So we're gonna have a, a slightly lower trajectory, some stronger shots, yes. and also take out the right shot as well. So it's a great one for that as well. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And like you say, it really does, you have a few swings with it and suddenly you do feel as though your arms are running in sync with the body. Okay, so Should I hit one? Yeah, let's give it a shot. Okay, so we've got on the 13th here at Carnoustie, par 380, it's 167 yards, should I say. Now, I might not be able to quite get it there because it will be a slightly shorter swing as a result. I've got seven iron. Let's see what we do. So I'm going to work really hard, keeping that ball in play and getting good rotation with the body and the arms. That's pretty tasty, that yeah, is. That's on the green pace. I'll take that. Okay. Watch that bunker. Watch that bunker. Oh, you can never know around here. All right, that's pretty good. But yeah, definitely when I'm hitting that shot, I feel like I'm sinking myself up a lot better. Okay, tour striker start, smart ball, great for that rotation of the body and the arms. Right, let's move on to the Link next one. Link in the description down below. The okay. fat plate, let's take a look at that. What's the fat plate gonna do for us, Pierce? Okay, right, this is great for your strike and where you bottom out. So I'm just gonna place it on the ground like so. Get my next golf ball in play. So you've got a few different places that you can place the golf ball depending on where you are, what kind of shot you're playing. I'm gonna place it in this third notch from here now for my shot. And so, imagine this. We do this all the time, we've done it with towels and all sorts of things, but this is really cool, gives you good visuals. But if I swing down and I early release, or I hang back, if I bottom out early, I'm gonna hit that plate. So if I hit that plate, this is gonna give me feedback to let me know that I potentially could be doing this early release yeah. or hanging back. So it's going to make me move more towards the target and also potentially hold on to that, those angles a little bit longer and get that more penetrating ball strike. You see, from here, we know that's a bad position to yeah. be in. We want to be more like this when we strike the ball. Definitely. One of the drills that we get you guys to do at home, um, if you've got grass, we always say spray that yes. line on the ground and hit the ground after the line because we yeah. want to get the ball then the turf. Now, if you're on a driving range, obviously you're not going to start spraying the range. So this is perfect mm. to just take out your bag, sit on the ground, and it gives you feedback. And it's really going to help train that ball followed by the turf strike, which is what we want with the irons, Absolutely. which is so key. And they do all sorts of different... Uh, models of this. This is with a light one, so I'm going to hit a shot. I'm going to actually go to my eight iron, I think, because okay. I think if I hit, I want to hit it close here, obviously. So I'm we should be able shot. to hit the golf ball without hitting the plate. So if Pierce hits the plate here, then he's failed. He's got to have oh. another go. 20 presses, yeah? You can't do 20. <laughs> 19, then. Okay. 
Missed the plate. You can see almost a little bit low on over here. I would say a little bit lower than normal. Okay, and often what we're looking at as well, if we think about someone who hangs back an early release, they often do hit it this way a little bit, yeah. so it makes sense. I'm trying to make up excuses here, but it makes sense that it might go a little bit lower than my normal shot and a little bit more right because it's making me move towards the target more and get that shaft length forward more. Well, you missed the plate, so we're going to give that a pass. So, and yeah, a good job on that one, then, Pierce. Well. And okay, okay. next one then, which is uh, an interesting tool, Pierce. Yes, yeah, so this is uh, from our friends TGT. So it's a look, it's really cool. They do lots of different things. They bend around. You've probably seen these before. They can, you can put them on your wrist, you can put them on your, your head, your knee, your ankle, you put them wherever you like. So it's TGT this is, yeah? Yes, it is, it is. Okay. Again, we'll put the link down below. So one question we get asked a lot from you guys is how should we start the downswing? Now, we've mentioned it all the time, we need to start it with the lower body, and this is a great visual aid, Pierce, to get that lower body working, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So if we think of this, I mean, very much a lot of these sort of swing faults that we're talking about are all very closely linked. So if I were to actually get into this one here where I throw the arms down, splay the arms, and early release. You can see that this yellow ball here is getting close to being hit. That's because my lower body isn't the driver of the downswing of the transition. So what we're looking for is, as opposed to being here, let's get it more so we start our downswing by getting that yellow ball and moving it away. So I'm opening out my hips towards the target, and then I'm coming into the delivery, and you can see I'm leaning that shaft forward, all the pressure into the lead leg, lots of hip clearance, Great shots. Love that. Okay, do that again then for me, Pierce, there. So swing back to the top. So again, from the top of his golf swing here, he's making sure this is going before anything else. We do not want the arms coming down before this ball moves. And I think if you can get this moving first, it starts that sequence off in the right way. And as Pierce mentions, gets the pressure into that left leg and helps with the yeah. strike as well. And the good thing with this is, we have had golfers, you know, when we're doing in-person lessons, where they've actually hit this. And it doesn't hurt, obviously, because it is so soft. So it's really good having some feedback which is good to help you move out the way, but if you don't move out the way, it doesn't hurt, which is really important. Okay. So come on, so, come on then. So we're just going to make sure on this shot that we're going to get the, the, the yellow ball moving from the top of the backswing into transition and hopefully clear that lower body out the way. Okay. Come on, yeah. you haven't got one on the green yet, Pierce. Oh, you have, maybe just one. Yeah, come yeah. on, come on, what are you on about? Oh, that's in the bunker as well. Well, it's a strong one as well. You can see he's using his lower body. Hey, we are getting a little bit, bit stronger, maybe. But again, I'm really conscious of this. Again, it's amazing. Just by putting something here, then suddenly you're going, oh, okay, I might move that a little bit more. But yeah, really cool, really cool. So now we need three training aids to improve your short game because we've missed the green <laughs> twice there, <laughs> yeah, bunkers yeah. and chipping. <laughs> so guys, look, I uh, hope that helps. We've given you three um, great feedback tools there for lots of different things, but those are three that we like. We'll put all the links in the description yeah. down below. You can have a look and just see if they work for you. But um, I think when we practice Pierce, it's nice to have feedback. Um, just to tell you actually if you're doing things rightly or wrongly. Yeah, absolutely. And it's interesting actually there's a few of these fat plates around here and some of the training aids in here at the, the facility, the indoor. So make sure if you do want a lesson here, is obviously click the links down below and it'll take you through to that. And yeah, play this golf course because we have been out filming here and it has been superb. Yes, now it's almost the end of the month. Now next month in July is all about break 90 and that means we're going to release our brand new coaching plan six weeks to break 90 so make sure you head over to me and and check that out it's going to be launching around about the open so uh, stay tuned for that it's definitely going to help you get past that 90 mark now if there are any other training aids that you want us to review please let us know by posting them down below yes and if you really enjoyed the video and you found some value there guys hit the like button there and also don't forget break 90 if you want to go and check that out which launches next month Click the link in the corner and we will see you soon.